Okay, real quick, trying out to uh, make the new CS2 conversions work in the assembly kit. It looks like everything works. However, it doesn't in game. So I've rigged this model. I made my four loads. Uh, it's a horrible skinning, but like it's not like, you know, it's not actually doing anything good. The, the mesh is all screwed up, but it is skinned because I'm not going to take the time to rig this thing perfectly if it can't go into the game. However, that setup, the material is using the standard lighting assembly kit, and it has weighted material default under custom attributes. It's been exported as a CS2 file, and as you can see, passed through Bob and passed. In, uh, in this little test pack here, I've created a little smaller hierarchy, and I've changed Lubu's armor to point to Wait a second, what? Oh, okay, sorry. No, this still points, this points to this new location. Call, you know what, for clarity's sake, let's even change this. Make this easier to see. So it points to this new location. We will rename this to DT. Just to make sure, we'll look at this. It's variant meshes, underscore variant models. And then in this directory, all the way down, it's lubu underscore DT. This is here. This points to the same directory, lubu underscore dt rigid model v2, which is right here. And then this stuff points to this new materials folder with all of these weighted alphas that have been changed. And those textures point to variant models, text, and then the proper DDS file of the files that have been passed through. The only one I'm not sure on is opacity. Opacity in vanilla looks like this, and then my metallic looks like that. So it seems almost like it's reversed, perhaps, but I can't really be sure. Either way, I don't think that would affect the outcome of painting the model with the wrong texture. The problem is that the entire model doesn't show up. So if I close Bob, and go to launch Steam, and go to launch the game. Okay. not going to show up and the only I mean at this point I don't know what it could possibly be unless there's some hard-coded reason that this can't be in just the variant models directory because by default it's variant models characters all these other sub paths and name but I just shortened it because I don't really need that specific like, specificity under this testing situation And as you can see, the skin is there, but the armor is not. Not sure.